Now, today, Drew is setting out the footing or digging the footing by hand, isn't he lucky? It's going to be 1,200 wide and about 250 mil deep. Now, it doesn't need to be super deep because it's only going to be for a couple of steps wandering up to the patio area, which is going to be here. I'm going to get on a couple more courses on this wall and I'll send this pillar up to full height. I'm going to send the pillar behind up to full height and then I'm going to dob on some of these really nice old coping stones, which was able to reuse and recycle from the previous garden wall on this job. Right, it's two o'clock and this is how we're looking. We've got both pillars built to 15.75, so uh, a nice, decent height. I've just dobbed on a couple of these coping stones. I've just run around with my tape measure <laughs> and he still needs to take out a bit more. We're going for 2.50 and he's on 1.75. So a bit more digging for Drew. And I'll just keep plodding building my pillars. <laughs> Right, there we go. So we have pretty much wrapped up for the day. It's 20 to four, but we've got a long drive back home. Pillars built, small planter built. Uh, still need to go to a reclaim yard to find about 20 of these, but shouldn't be too bad to find them. Built that pillar. And then tomorrow I'm dropping onto the extension where we took over from a cowboy builder just to do a few little bits and bobs, nothing major. And I'm gonna leave Drew here, digging the rest of the foot in. So I'll catch you tomorrow and then we'll be back here together pouring the foot in and setting out all the steps next monday yes yes well look where we are today back at the job we took over from that cowboy builder so what i'm going to do today is a few little bits and bobs inside need to do a bay window repair uh, a few other little things i need to address before we hand this back over to the client just throw a mix on get set up for the day and i'll take you inside give you a little tour as well What I'm doing at the moment is fitting all the air vents for the old property. Now, the reason we're doing this is that we have a timber floor joist at finished floor level on the old property. So all of that needs ventilating. Someone's already come along, fitted all the air vents under the existing joist. And now I'm just putting in my air bricks, tidying up everything. Uh, at the moment, it looks right mess, but that's just because I'm absolutely ramming it with compo with my little filler 
and then after it's gone off i'll go over with a nice pointing bar give it a brush and give it a nice tidy so that ventilation will just help make sure that there's no bad smells coming up that there's no damp underneath the existing floor and just uh yeah so that's what i'm pretty much on with at the moment all i've got to do is this and then i reckon we're going home oh there we go friday morning is about half 11. now nah, i'm on the way to another little job for a family member so uh just a little freebie but if i'm not getting paid you're only getting half the service hence why i'm turning up at probably 12 o'clock um later on i'm out as well so i'm probably i'll do a couple of hours and then uh get gone so Catch up with you when I'm there. Bit of slabbing, got plenty of cement in the van. Whacker plate, mixer. The van weighs an absolute ton. dug out a load of ground for this patio took out about a good ton and a half of um, topsoil and all things like that to drop the actual ground level a lot lower so we could get a substantial amount of stone in we've actually put two ton worth of stone in this area here we have put 75 mil roughly first uh, and then I gave it a good whacker and then another good ton on top to bring it up to about 140 mil worth of stone because I took the ground level down quite a lot. There's no point in me really taking out this old concrete because this is stronger than the stone we're putting in. So we're going to leave this here and right now I'm just trying to figure out all of my level. The slabs we're dealing with are about 55 mil. So I'm working them to this brickwork over here. Go on in. I'm using my cousin for a cameraman because I've not got Drew today. Um, so I'm gonna set my topper slab to this level here, take it down 55 mil. Although that won't give us much as a, much of a bed here, by the time we get over here, we'll have a nice, decent bed and that should work lovely for the rest of the patio. So I've got a nice solid base and I'm gonna throw a mix on very quickly before we go to the pub. Sick, how easy is that? San, it is Saturday. Saturday, yesterday I got on four slabs or three slabs and then I decided to go out for drinks. So it's now Saturday afternoon and we are getting on the remaining few slabs. What I did yesterday was I set this line here up against the house from the height I spoke about from that wall, transferred it onto this wall, brought it all the way around, used my six foot level and I also transferred that line to this line here. This line I set using a set square from the house and uh, that's now like perfectly square with everything. So we're gonna carry on getting these slabs on. We've got a really strong mix of, what mix is this? Sharp sand and cement uh, and a bit of slurry on the back of the slabs to help everything stick. So yes, yes, we'll get stuck in. There we go, uh, that little job done. Wasn't really much to say or even speak about today. Just cracking on getting that slabbing wrapped up. Just about enough material. Uh, I need to go back and put a floor inch in detail rather than the entire thing. And I'm also gonna pick up the edgings and concrete some new ones in. So the patio area is actually separate from the path and everything, but what's there. But it took me a year to do that, so you know, that'll probably wait for another year. Morning. 
it's Tuesday morning. Yesterday was a total washout. Friday, or I don't know what day it was, but Drew came in to the job and dug out this footing. Pretty big footing in all fairness, 1200 wide, about 150 to 200 mil deep. So a nice big footing. We're having a nice straight wall come off the existing extension square here. And then we've got some steps and some block work going here. Drew also did some more digging down the bottom of the garden. 300 mil, 350 mil. Nice big hole because we're having a water tank here. What's going to collect all the rainwater from the roof on the extension and then it's going to feed the garden. So we need to pour that today and then we need to pour the other foot in today. done to set the heights is I've just used a brick and taken my concrete 75 mil lower than this brick here so if I take this here you can see how it's banged on top of that block all I need to do bed this brick up ever so slightly and then the next brick that goes on top will be there so that's how I set my level and now I'm setting all of my concrete to that as well so if I put my level from that point to that point a little wobble down we're pretty much bang on so I've just taken all my heights from there and we're pulling that all the way through There we go, uh, poured that foot in, poured this foot in for the water tank to sit on. This one's actually really deep. Um, yeah, that's pretty much where we're leaving it for today. It's about half 10. Drew's gonna stay and load out, uh, and then we'll be back tomorrow to set the steps up on that foot in. So yeah, pretty chill day. 